In this video, you'll learn how to add the DevExpress chart control to your ASP.NET MVC application, how to bind a chart to a data source, and configure the chart's common settings. I have a newly created solution with an empty project referencing Entity Framework and the DevExpress ASP.NET MVC chart extension assemblies. Let's add a new empty controller to our application. To do this, right-click the Controllers folder and select Add Controller. Next, in the Add Scaffold dialog, select the MVC5 controller empty item and click Add. Now, specify the controller's name to Chart Controller. Then let's add a new view to the project. Right-click the View's Chart folder and click Add. Then select View. In the dialog, specify the view name as index Select the Create as a Partial View checkbox and click Add. Now I'll add a data model to the project. Right click the Models folder in the Solution tree and select Add New Item. In this dialog, select the data group in the C Sharp section. Next, select the ADO.NET Entity Data Model item. Name the model as GSP DB Context and click Add. Set the model contents as Code First from Database and click Next. On the following page, create a new connection by clicking the New Connection button. Set the data source as Microsoft SQL Server Database File and click Continue. Click Browse to locate a required database file. In this video, I use the gsp.mdf database shipped with the DevExpress demos. Next, click Open, click OK, and upgrade the database file by clicking Yes. Click Next, and finally, select the GSP table to include this table in the model. Now the new connection customization is complete. Click Finish to perform all the changes. Let's open the generated GSP model class. This class contains the region, year, and GSP1 properties. Rename GSP1 to value. I'll use these properties later to bind the chart to database values. In the chartcontroller.cs file, write the following code to extract the database values and give them as the model to the chart index view. Now I'm going to make changes to the index.cs HTML file. Define the web page title as US Regions Gross State Product. Create the chart control extension object. The instance of this class can be created using the extensions factory.chart helper method, which is used to add the chart extension to a view. The methods parameter provides access to the chart settings implemented by the chart control settings class, allowing you to fully customize the appearance of the chart added to a view. Define the chart name as chart. Then bind the chart data source to view.model and set the series data member as region using the chart control extension dot bind method. Then obtain the resulting HTML code using the chart control extension dot get HTML method. Note, if this method has not been called, the chart will not be displayed. Now, let's configure common chart settings and set the chart's width to 640 and height to 360 and chart palette as Office 2013. Next, let's create a chart series. To do this, use the seriescollection.template extension and use the setDataMembers method to define which data fields will be used to populate series arguments and values. In this video, I'll use year and value parameters. Then, customize series view. To do this, use the line series view action method. Set the marker visibility property to default boolean.true to display line series point markers in the chart. Next, let's customize the chart axes. Let's add a title to the x-axis. First, make this axis title visible 
and modify the title text. In this video, the x-axis text displays year. Refine the x-axis scale using the measure unit property set to numeric measure unit dot ones and the grid offset property set to one. Then let's add a title to the y-axis. Again, make the axis title visible and modify the title text. Let's define the y-axis text as millions of USD. Now add a chart title to the titles collection. Define the title text as US Regions Gross State Product. Then we'll configure the default legend appearance. Modify the legend position using alignment horizontal and alignment vertical properties. Set the alignment horizontal property to legend alignment horizontal dot center. Set the specify alignment vertical property to legend alignment vertical dot top outside. Specify the direction of the legend text using the direction property and set this property to legend direction dot left to right. And let's run the application in a browser to see the results. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our MVC extensions, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our MVC playlist. And if you want to keep up with all of our latest videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.